Scotland's the perfect platform for renewable sources. For renewables to work effectively, we need variety across um, wind, solar, and sea. I think one of the things we're trying to do in Scotland is really take advantage of our natural resources. So it's really kind of looking around and seeing how we can best use those uh, to our advantage. I think the opportunities are there for us to move away from the dependence on uh, fossil fuels, for us to move away um, from the, the reliance on the, on the sometimes controversial nuclear power, um, and to, to really be at the, at the forefront globally um, of, um, of renewable technology. I think my main change is the realisation that there's no one answer. A lot of people think it has to be wave or tidal or onshore wind or whatever. There's a lot of different solutions and of course technology moves at a fast pace. So there'll be other new solutions arriving in the next year or two years. The most exciting thing would be, uh, it would be great switching on something in the house and it not costing anything <laughs> if everything was uh, if we really were producing so much and I, I don't know if the potential is if we could produce so much but it would be a kind of uh, sci-fi dream really free electricity for everyone <laughs> the impact of all of scotland's energy coming from renewable sources is going to be huge because that will be zero co2 emissions which is incredibly important you can see all the global climate change and the effects freak storms and things that's happening all over the planet. We need to change that and we need to stop CO2 emissions so we've still got a planet for our children. I think the fact that renewable energy um, will never end and that we always will have wind and sun is really great and that we can always get power from that if we use it correctly is super important and we need to realise that. With the burning of fossil fuels, um, we're obviously um, a lot of polluting gases and greenhouse effects and climate change. And we really need to be changing that to protect our earth, um, especially with a growing population. Probably because it's going to be really important in the future and like how, with like me and my friends, when we grow up, it'll probably be a lot more relevant than it is now. We rely too much on, you know, power stations and that to yeah, use our energy and we need to, you know, think to renewables for the future. Because we have to. We don't have a choice. We absolutely have to do it. And Scotland will be, and I think is, a world leader in some forms of it. And I think it's where the jobs are going to be for many of our young scientists and engineers in the future. When these fossil fuels run out, we need to have some kind of clean, affordable energy and that's what renewable energy gives us. I'm really like scared for our future if we're not going to have them. I don't understand like how the world will work, will work if we don't have that and if we don't use renewable energy enough. I think it's really important because if the world doesn't move on then how are we going to like survive? There's like we're not going to be able to move on as a country unless the youth uh, have it in their heads that that's what needs to happen. I think if I had to choose one object to power in my house, it would probably be... My guitar amp. I think it would have to be the fridge. <sighs> that is a tricky one. Unfortunately, <laughs> I think it might be my phone. Probably lights. <laughs> I think it would probably be my TV. <laughs> my cooker. My hi-fi. It would probably be my phone. Something in the kitchen. I would probably charge my mountain bike lights. Um, I think my computer. I was thinking of a backup generator, but that might not be the, the right answer. Uh, I can't live without my Segway. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>